Hey everyone, welcome back. My name's Graham and this is The Need Feed, where every week we'll focus on one original recipe that I've developed to share with you. Today, I wanted to share with you a Mediterranean dish that I really love. It's a chermoula marinated sea bass with Israeli couscous and fennel confit. And if none of those words made sense, hang in there. All will be explained. To start with, I'll show you how to toast the spices for the tremula recipe. I have a pan over medium heat. I'm adding one tablespoon of cumin seed and one tablespoon of coriander seed. Then I'm adding a teaspoon of Aleppo chili and a little bit of salt. If you don't have Aleppo chili, you can use paprika. Toast them until they start to smoke. Be sure to shake them throughout so they don't burn in the bottom of the pan. Once the spices turn a little bit brown, they're finished. Be sure to pour them out into another container because they'll continue to cook in the pan. Next, I'll rough chop one cup of parsley and one cup of cilantro. Now I'm going to mince up two teaspoons of fresh ginger. I really love using fresh ginger because it packs so much flavor. Here, I have my food processor, and I'm gonna first add the toasted spices. I'm just gonna pulse them a few times to break up the spices a little bit more than everything else. Here, I'm adding fresh garlic, the minced up ginger, a half a tablespoon of paprika, the juice and zest of one lemon, and finally, the parsley and the cilantro. A good pinch of salt, and some olive oil to help it move around in the food processor. Now I'm blending everything together and adding the last bit of oil until it's nice and smooth. The final chermoula marinade will be a little bit chunky. This is a great marinade for fish, chicken, or even beef. Now I'm gonna coat the fish with chermoula and marinate it for a few hours. I'm also adding just a little bit of kosher salt to the fish. Make sure the fish is fully coated in chermoula. Mmm, doesn't that look good? Next, I'll show you how to make the Israeli couscous. Here, I have a pan over medium heat, and I'm adding enough vegetable oil to cover just the bottom of the pan. Once the oil starts to shimmer, add the couscous. Give it a good stir so all the couscous is coated in oil. After a few minutes, it'll start to toast and turn a beautiful golden brown color. Be sure to keep stirring the couscous so it doesn't burn on the bottom of the pan. Then add one and three quarter cups of liquid, either water or stock, and one tablespoon of turmeric powder. I've added the turmeric to the couscous to give it a bright, beautiful yellow color. Israeli couscous is a little bit larger than regular couscous. I really enjoy using it because it reminds me of some Italian pastas. It has a great texture. 
Cook that down for about 15 minutes, stirring it occasionally until all the liquid is evaporated. Once you've cooked all the liquid away, be sure to test the couscous to make sure it's cooked all the way through. It should be a little bit softer than al dente pasta. If it's not cooked all the way through, you can add more liquid and continue to cook it down. Once it's finished, put it in a strainer and run some cold water over it to remove all the starch. Now, to put all those glorious things together. I've cut some cherry tomatoes in half and I'm adding them to the couscous. Fresh lemon juice. A little bit of parsley for color. some salt. I'm also adding some delicious fennel confit. If you're interested in learning how to make the fennel confit, I did a whole video on it. Check out the link in the description below. I like the couscous at room temperature, but if you want it hot, you can always heat it back up again. First, I'm putting down the couscous and adding the grilled fish on top. I've picked a little bit of fennel fronds and placed them around the plate. And I'm also adding some smoked paprika oil to the dish to give it a nice color and flavor. There's a video for the smoked paprika oil down below if you're interested in learning how to make that. Doesn't that look nice? Makes you want to eat it. I really hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did, leave us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Be sure to subscribe for all the latest recipes, tricks, and tips.